day four of our shelter in place ordinance. And I wanted to come on here and just encourage you guys because I know that a lot of you all are looking just like me by the head. And I want y'all to know that you're not alone and we are here to help you be able to go through some regular maintenance. So for my weekly people, you are the ones that are having probably the hardest time with this information and having to be restricted from coming to the salon to get your hair done. I wanted to come on just because this is how a lot of you guys uh, come to the salon um, when it's time to get your hair done. Um, it's been five days since I have shampooed my hair um, to blow it out and do a flat iron. And um, it's time for me to clean my hair. It's time for me to clean my scalp and push that reset button. So today I wanted to guide you through some of the products that I'll be using just on my regular regimen. Um, but the better news is that I will be offering these products to you all on our website at blingsalon.com. After watching this video, I want you all to go onto the website and go ahead and select whichever shampoo conditioning system um, you use. Um, the ones that I will recommend to you, I'll be showing to you all later in this video. And they are available to be shipped out or delivered. Um, those are the two options that we have. And for those of you all who are close in the area, we can also plan for a pickup. So the good news in all of that is that you are not without a solution because I'm here today to give you one. But I wanted to come on to let you guys know I'm looking about like you all by the head. Look at this. Look at this. I am natural, color treated, needed my hair colored. Look at these edges. Yes, see? They see that gray? My plan was to color my hair April 1st, because it's been a year since I've had my hair colored. And so, yes, I am a hairstylist and I will have the products so I will be able to do my own hair here at home. But this video is for you all who are unable to do your color, to get it shampooed, who are accustomed to um, us being able to shampoo and condition your hair at the salon. So, that's why I wanted to start off like this with my hair all over my head because I know that's what you guys are probably looking like about the head. <laughs> so basically, I am going to do a regular shampoo. I have um, sometimes issues with dryness and sometimes kind of a flaky scalp, but that's due to my exercise and workout. Right now, it's not too bad because I haven't been able to do a hard workout. But one of the reasons why I shampoo weekly is because I swim every single week. Most weeks, it's two times a week. And so I have to go in and get that chlorine out of my hair. And so I will choose to do a light shampoo just to maintain the integrity of my hair and scalp and to make sure that that chlorine is not sitting in there. So what I'm doing right now, I'm actually parting my hair and I'm assessing my scalp because that's what you should do prior to shampooing your hair. You need to go in there and see exactly what areas you need to target. So I'm taking a look at my scalp just to make sure that there are not a lot of flakes and that there are not a lot of buildup so that I can give more concentration to cleaning my hair and not as much concentration on my scalp. One reason why my scalp is not as bad, like I said, is because I haven't had a vigorous workout, but also because I shampoo weekly. That's why I don't give it a chance to have the buildup. So the other thing is checking your scalp and also the condition of your hair, that's going to give you 
a better um, starting point to see what kind of shampoo you're gonna be using. So I have an autoimmune disorder, which most, most of you all know, but for those of you all who don't, I suffer with fibromyalgia. And fibromyalgia is a condition that actually causes a lot of nerve inflammation. And the way that it impacts my hair and my scalp is that I will go through bouts of uh, restricted blood flow and restricted, uh, restricted oxygen to my follicle. And what will happen is that sometimes I will have intense headaches and I will go to sleep and I'll wake up and I will have a bald spot in certain trigger areas on my scalp. Um, those bald spots are referred to alopecia. Very healthy people can um, have bouts with alopecia. And alopecia areata is the term for uh, spirilla round size patches of hair loss that come out from the follicle down to the skin where you're seeing just baldness of skin. So because of that, I have a treatment system that I use on my hair and scalp every time that I shampoo. And then I'll follow up with either a conditioning system or I'll start off with a swimmer shampoo, then follow up with my treatment system. So the condition that I deal with, with sometimes having bouts of alopecia, I have a certain system that I use just to safeguard and to be proactive with the potential um, or the possibility of hair loss because there sometimes are not any signals um, that it's going to occur. It just happens sometimes when I have flares. So right now I am dealing with a couple of flares um, and so I have one spot that I'm working on in the back that I will be growing my hair back. And so that's why I cut my hair into a bob. A lot of people were like, you're wearing your hair straight. The color is so cute. I love that bob style. But I was proactive because when I felt and I saw that my body was going into that season again, I just beat it to the punch. I gave myself a cute, foxy, fun, layered bob that I have had a blast wearing. Because I'm telling you, when you deal with hair loss, and scalp issues on a personal level, it can be very disheartening, disappointing, and it can be stressful too. So while your body is racing to catch up with your spirit, you have to be proactive with your beauty. And so sometimes you can get haircuts or different types of color options or even wear different styles as you're transitioning and going through the process of growing your hair back. So that's just my little spill on that. But this morning, I'm gonna share with you guys my protocol that I use for myself for my thinning hair or the bouts that I experience with hair loss. So I'm gonna be using um, a prep that I don't have in front of me. It's actually called Awake. It's a scalp prep that I put on my scalp and it actually preps my scalp to be shampooed. The Awake pre-shampoo scalp um, cleanser is a process or it is a product that's placed on the skin and it actually goes in and it breaks down the sebum on the scalp and that sebum a lot of times which is the natural oils from our body that natural sebum can carry different types of um, hormonal um, influencers that can eat away at the follicle and cause thinning and hair loss so mainly you want to go in and do a scalp prep to start lifting up dirt oil and buildup to start breaking down that sebum that's sitting on your scalp. And although I did show you guys that I pretty much have a clear scalp here, sometimes when that sebum is present on the scalp, you can't necessarily see it to the naked eye. 
but it's there because it's the body's natural way of cleansing and detoxing and um, bringing out the impurities that are within the body. So I'm gonna show you what that awake looks like. Let me. So this is what the awake looks like here. And you'll be able to find this on my site at blingsalon.com. This is the first step of what I'll be using on my scalp as a pre-wash, as a scalp prep. So I'll take the Awake, and it comes with a squeeze nozzle so that you cannot waste any product. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna part your hair, and then you're going to apply it directly to the scalp. It is very liquefied, almost like water. And so what you're going to do is you're going to put it on in a manner and you're going to let it run over your scalp. Again, this Awake Scalp Stimulator, it dissolves scalp sebum and buildup that has lodged on the scalp. And regular shampoos and even moisturizing shampoos, they won't remove that buildup. So these here are really, 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 this product here is a great product to remove buildup, seep and buildup. Even helps to soothe an irritated scalp because sometimes with my flares, my scalp gets very sensitive. Sometimes it's not itchy, sometimes it's just sensitive. And a lot of times it's because I'll have inflammation in my body. And so this right here helps to start soothing and getting me to the place where I can then be able to enjoy my shampoo, but also have peace of mind knowing that my scalp has already started the detoxing process. So the Awake, that is the first thing that you're gonna use on your scalp. You just let it sit for about a minute or two. Then I'm gonna follow through with my shampoo in this regimen for my hair loss and thinning. I'm going to then follow through with the Blessed DHT Blocking Shampoo. I have a lot of questions that people will ask me about the DHT blocking aspect. So this one right here, it has 11 DHT blockers. It is excellent, excellent for combating hair loss due to hormonal influences, like when you're going through menopause, or even if you have female pattern hair loss, or androgenetic alopecia in hair loss. If you're dealing with hair loss that's influenced by any type of autoimmune disorder, what the Blessed Shampoo will do is go in there and offer a proven DHT blocker to help you in your regimen of cleansing. So what DHT is, it is D-high testosterone. It's when you have testosterone that is an abundance in your system that then transfers and transitions into another culprit called D-high testosterone. Sometimes people will also suffer with an abundance of dehydrated testosterone when your testosterone levels are just imbalanced. We as women, when we go through hormonal changes, we will have imbalances of our um, testosterone, sometimes our estrogen, sometimes our, our progesterone. So when I do my consults, I always will say, if you're having any type of hormonal imbalancing, within your system and your blood tests are reading that you are postmenopausal, premenopausal, perimenopausal. The Blessed DHT blocking shampoo is a great um, proactive shampoo as well as reactive shampoo. So it goes in there with an amazing lather. It is low in pH and it's able to cleanse your hair and your scalp without drying it out. It partners with the Awake. The Awake is the one I just described. It is in a four ounce bottle, and then the Blessed Shampoo is in an eight ounce bottle. And you only need, starting off with maybe a nickel size, because it is pretty concentrate, you don't have to use a lot of it. What you're gonna do is you're going to start with the shampoo, um, 
and then you're going to only use about a nickel size and it's very concentrated, very, very, very concentrated. And so um, it has more of a gelled type of consistency to it versus a liquidy consistency. And this is kind of what it looks like. I'm hoping that you guys can see it. You can see, yeah. So about this much is all that you're gonna need to have for your first lather. Um, if your hair is not lathering, most likely it's due to more of your oils that might be on there or finishing products if you really need to have your hair clean. And so you're gonna add more water then you do shampoo. So don't waste your product. It's very concentrated, which is great. And the smell of it is absolutely amazing. I wish I could smell it, but when you order it and you get it, you're gonna love it. But anyway, the two products that I've told you guys about that's part of my start regimen is the Awake, which is the cleanser for my scalp, and then the Blessed DHT Blocking Shampoo. So those two are my shampoos. So I'll shampoo once or twice, just depending. If I've gone like, I don't know, more, more like eight days without shampooing, I will go through that regimen twice as far as just the shampoo. The awake only once with the shampoo twice. So after I have done my responsible portion of my protocol, and cleansing with my treatment shampoo, the very next thing that I'm gonna do is go in with another moisturizing and purposeful cleanser. It's not within my RRS line, but it's another line that I absolutely love and respect and appreciate. The difference between the two is that the first shampoo that I used has 11 DHT blockers, and this next one that I'm gonna tell you guys about has one DHT blocker, but it also has biotin, it has pea sprout, and it also has a saw palomento. So the Bling Blessed Shampoo has also saw palomento, biotin, and some phytoesterols in there, as well as this shampoo that I'm going to follow up with. So they have similar ingredients. The first one, Blessed, is more clinical, more so for purposeful people who are experiencing thinning and hair loss to help combat and block that at its source. So this next shampoo that I follow with, which this will most likely be my second shampoo or my third. So I'll always go through at least two lathers, but most time it's three complete lathers. And that third lather is Growthenix Shampoo. This one is by a line called Syntonics. Syntonics is a um, line of products that's manufactured by Avalon, which are the same company that makes Care Care products. And for those of you all who get a firm relaxer system, it's also the same manufacturer of that relaxer. So Grothinic Shampoo, the reason why I choose this one to go along with my hair and scalp care regimen suffering from the thinning or sometimes hair loss with my autoimmune disorder is because this shampoo here is a little bit heavier in weight. It is a little bit more moisturizing than my first one. And if I decide that I wanna do a protective style or if I just kinda of wanna blow out with a little bit of heat and I need a little bit of heat protection on my hair or I just want something that has a little bit more weight to it, I am going to choose the Syntonics Growthenic Shampoo. It's a moisturizing shampoo. It's a cleansing shampoo and it also is another DHT fighter. So it blocks the DHT as well. So I've got two power pack punches that I use in my cleansing regimen. This one helps to block with 11 DHT blockers, saw palomento and biotin, so it replenishes nourishment as it cleanses. And it follows up and it does protection um, and helps the process of that cleansing from the scalp here. So these two are setting the platform for the Growthenics shampoo to work perfectly. 
So this benefit is going to be detangling, hydration, as well as DHT blocking. So this is what it looks like, and I wish you guys could smell it too. This one smells amazing, but this one is more of a cream consistency, as you can see. It's got a golden texture to it, see? And it smells absolutely amazing. If you had to skip the conditioner, you would be able to go right away and detangle without having the pulling and the friction um, after using this shampoo. I don't recommend not conditioning afterward, but if you had, if you were in a hurry and you just had to, that's what you could do. So this one here is very moisturizing. That's my second and last shampoo that I'll be doing. And you wanna make sure prior to moving to your conditioning treatment that you're rinsing out all of the shampoo. No lather, you don't want to hear suds. You wanna make sure that your shampoo is completely rinsed out of your hair, off of your scalp, to where you have a cleansed, breathable atmosphere so that your then strands can be properly conditioned without having a block on top of it because shampoo can also prevent your conditioner from properly working if your shampoo is not rinsed out all the way. So, the conditioner that I follow through with also is a part of both lines. The Life Conditioner, which is my absolute favorite conditioner, it's like a liquid creamed vitamin for your hair and scalp. And it also goes along with the RRS system that helps to promote healthy growth, blood circulation, oxygen replenishment, as well as nutrient replenishment. It is truly a liquid vitamin for the hair. It's got 25 essential vitamins and minerals to enrich your hair because a lot of times our hair can get really frayed and brittle when we're shampooing and conditioning and flat ironing or heating or even doing protective styling. And you wanna make sure that you are filling your hair up in the conditioning process with amino acids and different type of essential ingredients that your hair can receive almost like food. And so this one here is our follicle boosting nourishing conditioner which you can go in and massage it through and put it on the scalp for a short time and then blend it through the hair. And that is your first defense of um, depletion. It is your first response to the call for hydration. So you're gonna put it on, it's food for the hair, it's like the first course in replenishing what might have been taken away during the cleansing process. So this is called a life conditioner. It's creamy and it smells amazing, just freaking amazing. Um, I just, I love this line. It's such a blessing to be able to have it as an option in the system. Um, I've even used it and not rinsed it out just because I was swimming late and trying to run to the shop. So if you guys saw me and my hair was wet and kind of curly, it's probably because I had life conditioner left in it. So my life conditioner is a cream substance here and it is thicker in nature as you can see but it's so full of emollients amino acids it also has a lot of uh, biotin in here it's got so many chained um, iron benefits to it as well and so um, it moisturizes and detangles i'm just going to read a little bit of it it has 25 vitamins and minerals um, and the amino acids that are necessary for hair health it smells so good too. Um, I'm addicted to clean hair, but I'm also addicted to holistic smells to where they can mix with my body chemistry and not go rancid. So it's really important for a product to not have an overpowering odor, but to have a really nice cleansing odor that can complement your natural body chemistry. And this system does that. So what you wanna do is you wanna start off maybe with about a, I'd say that's a little bit smaller than a quarter and you're gonna massage it through your hands and then you're gonna run it through your hair, okay? Then you're going to take what's left on the hands and place it on your fingertips and you're gonna start the massaging process through the scalp. You never wanna take a conditioner, a cream-based conditioner and just go directly on your scalp with it. 
you always want to give the scalp the ability to absorb the food that you're putting on it. And so uh, the molecular weight of this product is very light, so it's very absorbent, but you don't have to go in and completely coat the scalp. You wanna make sure that you're feeding the hair and then you're gonna go ahead and massage it through the scalp as well. And so that is the life conditioner and really how to apply it and where it fits in the regimen. I'm gonna stop one more time and I'm gonna go back over the regimen with you guys so that you all can understand what the process is again. First step, awake. Scalp Sebum Deplenisher. Put it on as a pre-wash. Starts the process of getting the sebum, dirt, oil, and buildup off the scalp onto the hair. Next step, the Bless Shampoo. Partners with the Wake. The Bless Shampoo is your DHT blocking shampoo that you go on and use about a nickel size of it on wet hair. You're gonna massage it through and get a nice lather. If that lather doesn't arrive the first time, you're gonna add more water, not more product. You're gonna go through that and make sure that you do a good cleanse. I prefer to use a shampoo brush an ergonomically designed shampoo brush, which I also will be selling on the website too. And you can actually put it in and make sure that when you put it in, or actually when you're using it, excuse me, I used the wrong term. When you're using it to shampoo your hair, that you are doing just like I'm doing on dry hair. That you're going through and you're going one motion at a time. You're not wanting to go in there and do anything like all this kind of stuff. Girl, you can break your hair. And then you'd be wondering why, why I got all this hair in the brush? Why I have all this hair on, in my hands? Why do I have all this hair on the floor? It's because you're going in there and you're just going like crazy. And some of y'all want me to do that at the shampoo bowl, but the reason why I don't is because we don't want to encourage friction. You wanna go one direction. Now, if you have a very itchy, irritated scalp, like girl, my scalp is itching like crazy because it's dirty. Woo, Lord Jesus. Okay, so you're gonna get in there and you're going to just kind of do at the base, a scalp scrub, just at the base, right? You're gonna go in there and if you have anything that's built up, you're gonna go in there and you're gonna kind of just scratch it up. But that first step, the awake, and then this process of the DHT blocking shampoo, that is going to really do the action of the cleansing. You're just going in with your shampoo brush and you're making sure that you got everything off the scalp, okay? There we go. So once you get it all off the scalp this manner, you're gonna slide your shampoo brush through and you're gonna release the rest of the um, motion of cleansing in that area. So you're going in the same direction. Then when you get to the back, you can lift it up to make sure, oh, y'all can see my kitchen. Lord bless these viewers. So you're gonna part and you're gonna go down. You're gonna part and you're gonna go down. You're gonna part and you're gonna go down. So you're gonna do that all the way up your hair just to make sure that it's completely clean. Now we're doing that, ooh, it's looking wild now. We are doing that, remember, with the blessed shampoo, okay? So after I get all that motion going, my hair is detangled, my scalp is feeling great, I've already started the cleansing process, then I'm gonna do the same exact thing, just quicker, with the second shampoo, which was, remember, Growthenix by Syntonix, okay? So after I finish those two, and then I apply my life conditioner that I talked to you guys about, I am so extra, I then go in with another conditioner, which is, I, they partner well together. So this one is my first conditioner, the Life, and then the second one is the Syntonix Growthenix Conditioner that partners with the Syntonix Growthenix Shampoo. So the conditioner I absolutely love because what it has it also has the saw palomento and the biotin and the pea sprout extract and the phytosterols, which are amino acid complex, which helps to build those strands. 
So this is just a power pack punch. If I had to choose one over the other, I always use my life conditioner, but there are some times when I just kind of want to have a little bit more slip because this one is more concentrated, I'll use this one here. But remember, I'm walking y'all through my personal regimen. For most of you all at home, I will just choose one of the systems and instruct you on how to use that one system. But this one here, like when you guys come to the salon, this is what I do on you. All of my clients who are experiencing hair loss and different scalp issues, this is the type of regimen with the steps that I would do on you, okay? So after I have done that conditioning, and my conditioner will sometimes sit on my hair from six minutes all the way up to about 30 minutes, just depending on how much time I have. And so since we have a little bit more time with this shelter in place, do some good conditioning, okay? But there's one key thing that I want you to remember when you're conditioning your hair. You have to make sure that you rinse out that conditioner. A lot of times when you all come to the salon, you'll come in with a lot of buildup. And it won't be that your hair is dirty. It will truly be that you have product left in your hair. And it started because one, you either didn't rinse out your shampoo, two, you didn't rinse out your conditioner, or you had shampoo left in your hair and then you put conditioner on top of it. So then you tried to go in and put a styling product on it and you just created a gumbo of a hot mess. So by the time you come to us, you're flaking all over your shirt. You don't have um, the twist out that you want. You're wondering what's going on with my hair. It's too soft. It's because you have product buildup in there and it started with not rinsing out the shampoo all the way. Do not disrespect the shampoo cleansing regimen. It's so important, it's so important. So the second thing is after the conditioning process, remember six to 30 minutes, just depending on how much time you have, we're gonna go in with um, what I do next. So uh, my hair is really conditioned after I finish this. I don't have a lot of uh, detangling issues. So there's some times where I will skip a leave-in conditioner. But the leave-in conditioners that I really enjoy using that actually strengthen my hair, they help to prepare my hair to receive the heat that I might use on it afterward. Um, two of my favorite go-tos are the Bamboo and Silk by Design Essentials, which I will also have on my website to send to you all. And then the Rebuild Conditioner, which is part of the system that I use. And so that Rebuild is honey quad based moisturizing and it's part of the Bling Restoration and Revival System line, which is also on my website. I don't have it in my bathroom right now, um, but it is one, it's the run in the green bottle, um, green liquid, it's clear bottle, excuse me, but it's called Rebuild. And uh, that's a really good leave-in conditioner. But the universal conditioner that I recommend for all hair types, that's easy to use, that uh, men, women, and children will use is the Bamboo and Silk Amino Acid Based Blow Dry Leave-In Conditioner by Design Essential. So it works amazing. This one right here is the one that you're going to use after you finish the whole complete cleansing regimen, conditioning regimen, you've rinsed everything out, and then you're gonna spray the HCO or Bamboo and Silk Leave-In Conditioner. The purpose of that is that you're gonna be adding some of the nutrients back to help sustain your hair the whole time from shampoo to shampoo. So leave-in conditioners, they are important, especially if you are using heat on your hair because they can act as heat protectants as well as nourishment for the hair and UV protectants from the sun too because although we need a lot of vitamin D, you have to protect your hair as well so it doesn't dry out with the elements of the sun, the wind, the rain, um, just regular wear and tear from styling. So leave-in conditioner is very important um, with your regimen too. So that's the shampoo and conditioning process. Um, I have some other things that I do as far as like shingling, twist outs, um, scalp care even after to help um, me combat the sometimes hair loss that I experience. So I'll be doing another video with that one and I'll show you guys what treatments, what products, what styling agents that I use. 
But I wanted to come and just show you guys just into my life, into April Kearney, owner of Bling Salon and Retail. Um, April Kearney, master holistic practitioner of trichologist that owns Bling Hair Restoration and Revival System. Um, you all are supported by us as professionals and I wanted to just walk you through a regimen of cleansing. And also, go to my website, blingsalon.com. Place an order for your products. I'll get it sent out to you. Once you get your product, we'll do a consultation so I can show you how to use the product, so I can show you how to clean your hair, so you can continue with those goals that we set before all of this happened. You have to make sure that you're cleansing with the right products and that you're not using cheap over-the-counter products or that you're using something that you've had underneath your counter for years. We want to make sure that you have the right products in hand so that you can be able to use them. I'm running some specials on my website as well as far as uh, vitamins being um, clearanced out and uh, steep discounts. Um, I do have some of my custom blended products on there, so I'll be going live to explain every last product on my website. But go to the website, it launched today, Saturday, March the 28th. It's live, it's ready for your orders. I'm ready to ship out to you guys, ready to give you all the stuff that you need to maintain your beauty at home and to keep your hair clean, your scalp healthy, and to combat this season. So this was a very lengthy video, but I just wanted to go over a couple things with you guys. And I'm gonna be posting some lives later so that you all can join me and maybe we can shampoo our hair together. But today, right now, I need to clean this mess so that I can um, be able to walk you guys through the next steps. Love you all so much. Be blessed. Um, this too shall pass. We are overcomers. God is in control and I can't wait to see you all again. I miss y'all so much. So this is the COVID-19 Bling Salon and Retail update on how to clean your hair and what products to use that I use at home for myself. Blingsalon.com. Go place your orders, leave me your email address and your telephone number, and I'll be in contact soon. Love y'all so much. All right.